everybody Wang Chung tonight. Is there any traditional draft war of the spark? Best of one? Ranked draft Ravnica Allegiance. No, we still can't draft War of the Spark ranked. Okay. Well, we'll traditional draft War of the Spark. How's that sound, guys? Boom. Are you ready? I'm ready. You might say I was born ready. I came out of the womb, and everyone was like, wow, is he ready? And, and the answer was yes. I was ready. Thank you. So, you know, that's how it went. My phone making little noises. Secret alien, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, this pack's not super exciting. Dreadhorde Arcanist is good in modern, I imagine. <clears throat> this art is fantastic. Dovin's Vita's good. Cruel Celebrant is good. This is not, yeah, this is not a, a solid first pack, unfortunately. I gotta head out to Fr out Frank. <clears throat> nice hanging with you. <clears throat> Everyone hears the rest of my bits because who are we trying to kid? You are always gonna get them. <laughs> Frank Connick Disciple, well, thank you so much, man. <clears throat> Enjoy your day. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, we could actually go Hawatli and take the big butts, but I don't know how many big butts there are in this set. This is just a real. Uh... I mean, I could take the rare, sure, but like. I think I already have this guy. I have three of him. So we could. We could. I don't love that as a first pick. I think it's bad. Whereas Dovin's Veto I think is good. I'll take Dovin's Veto. <clears throat> Merfolk Skydiver and 10th District Legionnaire are both pretty good. I guess this is this is this could settle us. I think we'll just take the skydiver here. I do like a skydiver. Proliferating is powerful. Band together and dam breaker are both very good. Oh, eternal skylord is pretty gas. Yeah, we'll take the skylord. That's good. <coughs> Ashiok and limited when we're clearly base blue. Yeah, let's do that. Nice How many Ashioks do you think we can get? I think we can get at least oh four. Great. Four Ashiox. We could take Gateway Plaza, or we can just take Nurturer and then splash something else. I, th I think I like Nurturer better here. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat got all scratchy, but I apologize, guys. Thundering Saratok and Gateway Plaza. Thundering Saratok's nice if we get the Crunch Wranglers. The Crunch Wranglers sounds like a. Uh, it sounds like the name of a wrestling duo. Like the. Like. Like. What's it called? What do you call? It? What do you call this? What was the? Who was the? Um, the guys who were like this. Who are those guys? I can't think of their name, dude. Oh my god. They had the shaved heads. The bushwhack. Was it the bushwhackers? Who had the shaved heads? Were those two different things? Are those two different teams? <clears throat> The hand jobbers. <laughs> oh god. There was a blue and trust me. I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm not gonna ban you, that's hilarious. Uh it's Gateway Plaza or Thundering Star Talk. It's one of the two. I think we can stay here. I don't think we necessarily have to play the veto. There's a Cron Trangler, and now we feel good about all the choices we've made. Thunder Drake is also nice, but this is a this is a Crunch Wrangler combo card. Uh, totally Lost, I think, is playable. It's a lot of five drops though. I'll just take the return. No, I'll take the Totally Lost. <clears throat> eh, New Horizons and Vivian's Grizzly. Vivian's Grizzly did some work against us the other day. I don't in general like this card because it doesn't it doesn't hit a ton, but it's probably better than. I want to take the new horizon. <laughs> it's probably better than... Nah, I don't think so. We'll take Heartfire. In case we can splash it off of, like, Centaur Nurture and New Horizon. Eh, none of these cards are exciting. That 2-3 does not deserve such a sound.
single combat. That did some work for us the other day, but I'm not really sure we're playing it here. We could take Cruelty and just splash it. I think that's actually fine. We have New Horizons and Centaur Nurturer so far, and if we pick up like one Gateway Plaza, it's three sources of black. Bio Essence Hydra! This card's busted. This card was busted at the pre-release. It's basically like a 1919 whenever you play it. Oh, Rescuer Sphinx? Alright, this deck is looking pretty nice. I do like the Angrath as well, but I mean, we're not, we don't have an efficient way to cast the double, double black slash double red card. Ugin's Conjurant is good. It's also another Crunch Wrangler triggerer. A QR would be nice. Let's take another Crunch Wrangler. We're gonna we're gonna wrangle all the crunches here. QR's Dam Breaker, very, very nice. Yep. Alright, this deck's looking pretty good so far, actually. I like Kazmina's Transmutation. It seems good. Probably better than No Escape. And another one. Alright. Well, I think I'd rather have two of these than like. Contentious plan actually could be good. We have Ashiok, New Horizons, Merfolk Skydiver, Crunch Wrangler. Yeah, let's take the Contentious plans. Ugin's, Bio Essence. <clears throat> this actually is like the most contentious plan deck I've ever, we, I think we've ever had. Meh. I'll just take the Floaty Boy. I think the bear is fine. I just don't, I'm not super sold on it. Like in the late game, it could be very good. Which has been my experience, but... Um... It's fine. It's playable. We'll put it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh! Oh! Commence the endgame is insane. That's a taker. Oh yeah, we're taking that for sure. Narset? Eh, not what we're looking for. Narset, not great. I'd rather have Tamiyo's Epiphany draw some cards. Like, Narset's mostly going to just flip two and then... Hopefully you hit a non-creature. Oh, Vivian? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely taking this Vivian. Uh, look at the top three cards. Exile one face down with the rest. If it's a creature, you may cast it. Is top four? Top three. Yeah, it's still, it's still very good. Let's see if you're worthy. And Mowu. Also, Sahili. Is Sahili good in our deck? I mean, it's another Planeswalker to go with uh, Bio, Bio Essence Hydra. That seems good. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight non creature spells. <clears throat> I think either one of these are just fine. How many four drops do we have? Only three. Three drops we have four. <clears throat> I think it's probably Sahili just because I think it's a stronger card. And it does it does con combo with uh, Bio Essence Hydra and Contentious Plan. Yeah, I'll take the Sahili. I think the upside is higher on the Sahili. Sack a creature. Search library for a creature with a mana cost one plus it. So like, we could sack a Centaur Nurturer to get a Bio Essence Hydra, or we can sack. Eh, it doesn't seem great. Another Word Scale Hydra, another Curious Dam Breaker. I think the second Curious Dam Breaker is just better than the Primordial Worm here. Interplanar Beacon. Interesting. Crawl Stinger is probably just 100% playable here. Contentious Plan, Nurturer. I like Force Landing for the sideboard. I think that's fine. I don't think we're going to play a second Nurturer or a second Contentious Plan in this deck, but this deck is looking pretty good so far. Did we actually take one of the Return of Natures? No, so I'm okay with taking that here. <clears throat> have I tried out the Neoform combo in Modern? I have not. Neoform came back? Alright, we'll just take the Neoform now. I have nothing to lose. This deck... Wow, double Neoform. Okay, that's interesting. 
Ooh. <clears throat> I don't know what that was for. Probably some nonsense. Um, none of these. Are we splashing for the Obnixilis? So we have 12 and 11. So we're definitely higher blue. So I mean, we can cast this off of New Horizons and off of... <coughs> I just got like the scratchiness in my throat. Sorry guys, really apologize. And off of Centaur Nurturer, is that enough? I guess we could play one Swamp, but it might just not even be worth it. We could sacrifice a Ceratoc for a, <clears throat> a Dam Breaker. I don't think that's very good though. Could just play Teferi's Time Twist. How many creatures do we have in the deck so far? 14. I don't hate that. Because if you're bringing back, like, if you're bringing back a Kiora's Dam Breaker, it's actually pretty sweet. This guy puts another counter on things. Skylord triggers again. I actually don't hate Teferi's Time Twist here. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, all right, let's put Bio Essence Hydra as our guy. We'll see if this deck is busted or just pretty average. Well, this is not the hand we're looking for. <clears throat> yeah, this is better. We just need a green source. Well, Sahili into <clears throat> Teferi doesn't do much. All right, one more land, one more, one more forest. We could exile an island, and then it comes back with a 1-1 counter. Just kidding, it's not a creature. But I got you guys. Oh wow, that was a good hit. Um, so we can actually play this, plus one. Target nothing. We could also just play Sahili and then play Vivian next. Yeah, let's do that. Sahili's gonna take two, but I think that's fine. We can also exile one of the Planeswalkers in order to, to refresh them, and if we refresh the Healy, if we refresh either of them, like, they get another. Alright, sure. That is your turn, my friend. That's pretty good. That wasn't very inventive. <clears throat> so we can play Vivian. We make a blocker, which is nice. And then we can negative two. Hmm. Alternatively, we'll play Merfolk Skydiver, which doesn't seem great here. Every moment makes me stronger. Starting over is the only way. Where do the other ones go on the bottom? Yep, yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, I guess we're done here. If we hit a, another forest, we can play Crunchy and Merfolk. Merfolky. What up, Planeswalker Academy? Good seeing you, my dude. Well, that's fine. Jump block city. Oh, we did not hit a land. Look at that. Would you look at that? So we can play Crunch Wrangler. It's obnoxious. Um. One land in this hand is actually pretty good. Because then we get four different things to play. Now we get to play one thing instead of four things, which is kind of frustrating. <clears throat> I 
Let me show you what was lost. And I've got such a long way to go. To make it Crotch Wrangler. It's a totally different Wrangler, buddy. Yep. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. Okay, so we get to save one. Yikes. Which is going to be better? Um, Any chance I'm MTGO draft with human people? I mean, maybe, but I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. That's just my opinion. Like, I really don't think the, the bots versus humans is that big of a deal. Yeah, I get it. You want me to... <coughs> This is going to face. These two got to go at the... <clears throat> no? Okay. Oh, boy. Both at Vivian. Oh, I guess it... Oh, that was terrible. I forgot Vivian was one. Why did I do that? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter. We haven't hit a land in five turns, so it's... Kind of terrible. Oh god, I can't believe we just threw that away. Actually, pretty good against them. Yeah. Yep, that'll do. That's all I need to see. Nermit and Giddin? <laughs> Who are these things? <clears throat> Alright, so I think our deck is fine. I just don't think we hit more than three lands for five turns. So, I would definitely like to see a clip of, of Numot getting a pick eight Gideon Blackblade because that seems, that seems extremely unlikely. I feel like the, the client doesn't even let rares go that late. I don't know if I've ever seen a a, a, <clears throat> a non bomb rare. Genji, the other MTG streamer, and Gideon. This is not looking. This is not going well. Have you tried any cool new glasses lately? I don't think so.
But I can. Bios and Hydra as a 9 9 next turn is pretty good, right? I mean, I'm no expert. I'm no MTG expert. MT Jexpert, if you will. Yeah, do we trade here? I think we're trading here and then making a 9 9. This is fine. Damn breaker seems good. Proliferato. <clears throat> you have been analyzed and found wanting. Matigo. Yeah, that's a good idea. When Can we just call this Matigo? Defy convention. Interesting. I guess it's a block. I guess it, I guess she takes one. <clears throat> one crunchy boy. One crunch doodle. And now we can proliferate onto all these things next turn, given we survive. What up, Zaxor? This is a lot of proliferating. Is there gonna do something else? I don't know. Crunch Doodle? Is that what I said? Did I say Crunch Doodle? God, just these things are just, <laughs> just sometimes it just happens, you know. I'm excellent in your well, not. That's that's rude. Insufficient blocker? Oh, it's got menace? Whatever. Well, it's 1-2-1 one, one, making this a 3-3. Three, three. It might just be better to put you here. And then double block use. But then we lose both of these guys. So, yeah, we'll just block like this. Got him. This outcome surprises even me. Yeah, not me though. <coughs> well, CH makes a ch sound, not a not a k sound. So. Mm, biscuits, my buttery biscuits. Gonna attack with my buttery biscuits. <clears throat> That's just a fine little trade. Let's play this crunchy boy. Let's bounce a thing. Yeah, this card is not a reasonable magic card. Let's just be clear. Bounce Sahili. Why is that two lines? Can't we just couldn't you have said that in one line? Don't use two messages when one message will do. That's my motto. <laughs> 
<laughs> bounce, Sahili. Bounce, bounce, Sahili. I will keep this hand. This hand looks great. I am game. Well, I was hoping for a two drop, but alas. Boy. Now I don't want to play this Vivian because she just dies. So, I think I actually want to transmutate this because they could have real big things that I just don't feel like dealing with. <clears throat> like if they play, I don't know, four power guy this turn, then they suddenly have a 3-2 and a 1-1. One, one. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, guys. You guys definitely need to stop. stop st please stop chatting like this. Oh yeah, that's not. I don't. I, Zaxor, I wouldn't say that's memory lane. You can just literally go Rob, and that dude pops up. Is it? It's Rob. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, and that just pops right up. Pops right up. So we got six mana here. So we can go. Uh, this guy's obnoxious. Why do you have this? We could go Crunchy Boy and Epiphany. Oh, we can actually. Vivian and plus here. That seems pretty cool. Because then she'll be five, she'll take two. We can block. <coughs> yeah, I kind of like that. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Strike now. We can also Strike flash hard. that dude in. No attacks. End of the turn. Do I block and keep this alive? Probably. <laughs> you have to do better than that. I do like this. You fight like a city <clears throat> rat. A city rat? Street rat, I don't buy that, but I think he's rather tasty. You guys remember this movie? It was called Aladdin. You ever seen? You ever seen? Ever seen Aladdin? You ever seen Aladdin, guys? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. They could triple block, but then we get to take out this guy and this guy, which is pretty good. A home. Also, I keep forgetting that we have we can cast these at instant speed, which is pretty nuts. Cost the elite, got eight to live. Tell you when I have the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
You got it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, now I'm tempted to to look, but I don't think we need to look yet. We can just do one of these jobbies. Okay, okay. Contentious plan is nice. Uh, bottom that, bottom that. We only have one for Sahili. I think we can still take the Sahili, right? One, two, three. We can. It doesn't doesn't let us do anything this turn, though, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we can probably get rid of Sahili, actually. We don't have that many spells. So we're just going to take Contentious Plan. And whatever else they'll give us, which might be a land. It was not a land. <clears throat> you can still walk away. Uh, let's say no attacks here. I don't feel like we're in a, a good enough position to throw some attacks here. They did unspeakable things to me. Hmm. Yep, that card's good. It's also an instant. Why did it go to... Mysteries of life are endless. Oh boy. Gotta steal to eat, gotta eat to live. I'll tell you when I have the time. No attacks. End of the turn. Is cure? No, we don't have a cure. Unfortunately. You got it. I mean, this guy was already problematic as it was. This is all fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd rather just block this with the zombie and then next turn give Bioessence Hydra Vigilance forever. Why is it not letting me... Is this a sorcery? Oh, it's a sorcery. I was like, why isn't it letting me cast this? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. So we have, what, four, seven mana? So we can play this and, like, either bounce either one of these. Or we can play this... Uh, return Vivian. Oh, let's do that. That seems busted. There is wonder in a oh, blade yes. of grass. Thank you. Yep, How that's pretty broken. Is up to you. Seen puppies whine less than you. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They can't kill this guy. They could just block here, but then they oh, the proliferate proliferate's pretty strong here, but I don't think it matters. They still take twelve. Sure. Zaxor, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. I missed the surprise Pikachu too much. I accept. I accept. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't buy that. Oh my god. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely to fail. Looking to elevate yourself. Uh, perhaps a pair of stilts? We have nine mana, so we can play this and proliferate for seven. I mean, we're just going to block that guy. Doesn't do anything. That felt good. <laughs> 
Sometimes you just need that surprise Pikachu. Thank you. Swanny boy, welcome back. Finally rested up from the first GP and ready for some magic. How have we been doing that? Eh, the format seems alright. Oh, that's pretty good too. We can exile this, put four more things on this. Uh, I think playing this guy and just proliferating is probably pretty cool. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Let us put a counter. On a floaty boy. There is no floaty boys. <clears throat> so we can actually put it on the dam breaker. Exile this guy. Oh, we're one shy to proliferate, aren't we? Well, that's sad. I thought we'd have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine, so this is like five, six, seven, eight. There, I thought, how come we didn't have enough? What am I missing? Does it cost, it costs five. We're studying contrast. This costs two. Oh, because Dovin made it cost one more, well, that's why. Not. Yep, Dovin. Oh, wow, Ketra. Yep, that's a thing. That's also a thing. That's just basically the same as this. For the fallen. Um, is this not? It's not destructible, right? All right, so that's pretty good. I guess we just have to wait out this Dovin. That's obnoxious. I mean, we could attack here and then they just kind of trade with something. I think this is okay. I think we have enough blockers otherwise. I didn't forget the flash part. I just wanted the, uh, I guess I, I guess I kind of did, right? Sure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six. They have five creatures. Sure. I think we're I think we're still ahead here. Although a catcher is pretty terrifying. Yep, that's worse. We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent in your well not. Not. Well, not. Are all our Cron Stranglers dead? Just one. Are we at a point where we can actually... The problem is we need flying blockers. We have five, six, seven, eight. We can double block this. They have no cards in hand? That's nice. That's pretty good. That's a nine nine. Um, why don't just miss? The Hydro doesn't naturally have reach. We just give it reach with the with this. So I'm, so I'm trying to figure out if we can actually negative her and um, still profit. Because I like proliferating here. I think we can. Right? But are we throwing a guy away? Not really, I guess. What is this? Four, five, six, seven? Yeah, this is actually fine. Come on, hits. Begin oh, and no. Well, we get rid of the forest so that at least we don't have to draw it uh, no attacks here in turn and commence the end game and uh, what's the other one around the bottom both those are pretty okay see in quotes thanks so much for the resub 42 months in a row that's pretty nuts dude thank you so much man really appreciate the support you guys are great I love you guys I think we're still ahead here. This Hydra just needs to... This Dovin is surprisingly problematic. 
So we have nine mana, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's almost better to make this a 4-4 four, four, and then proliferate than make it a 9-9. Nine, nine. Because then we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get 7 extra counters. McGimp, I'm still waiting for you to pop the question. Well, it's only been 13 months, buddy. Take it slow. Take it slow. We'll get there. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. You are awesome. Pass to end of combat. Um, let's play this for what we have. A, we have nine mana, so we want to play this for four. Submit like it's gonna be like submit eight, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Submit seven, and it always gets two because of the. Uh, oh, that's nice because we can put it on this. One, two, three. Target this. Now we can put a counter on the Merfolk Skydiver, which is super, super nice. We can also cancel this. Mm, think he's rather tasty. Yeah, let's just look here. Oh, well, we don't have to draw either of those. That's nice. We have two lands in exile and two lands. Two lands on the bottom, so that's four lands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Alright. We're getting close, guys. We're getting real close. This would be a trade, but then they draw this again. No attacks. Like we're we're at twelve cards. We have no we're in we're not like in Thundering Ceratok could also just win us the game if we get far enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Curious. Your they only get one more Dovin activation, so I feel like their time is running out. Why not swing with both flyers at Dovin? Uh because then they just get to eat one of our flyers. And then like it only it's only I'd rather just wait a turn and keep both of our flyers. Yeah, our board's pretty insane. Although this game has taken quite a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Submit eight. Yep. This is a 22-22. That's a reasonable thing. Oh, boy. Can we just kill them? What do they have... This guy's not going to do it, right? So 16, 23, 28, 32. And we have, what? We can proliferate as well. I think we just alpha here. You fight like a city brat. 32, and we need to deal 43. 5, 6, 7, 8... 15, 20, 29, 36, 42. Yeah, this is it. Plus we can proliferate twice. Well, we can proliferate once and give trample. The trample's the relevant part. Oh boy, if they have like a, a fog effect, it's a blowout. But I don't think that even I don't think there is a fog effect in this set. But I think he's Seven seven on seven six five seven diddle 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 diddle. This is a seven seven on the six six. Okay, so right now you are taking nine plus five. Alright, so you're taking five. Six seven eight. It's thirteen. Still dead. This guy kills this. 
Um, who's who is blocking who? They're both blocking the seven seven. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Oketra. So wait, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we have enough. Boom, 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 That'll do, pig. Oh, because you can flash it in. I get it. Fantastic. Play a green, play a Murphy boy. I'll, I'll choose the one creature that I have. That's a good. Well, that was rude. So what if I just play this here, and then I play this next turn, make it a 4-4? That could be fine. Is that better than just playing... Yeah, it probably is. Because it's basically the same as playing this on turn 4 as a 4-4. But you get it down earlier, so... Vengeance will rain like meteors. No blocks, huh? Well, that's good for us, I guess. So if you want to block here, we get to eat this guy, and then you get to deal one to it. Okay. Well. Ha! You only stoke my flames. Sure. Um, we could have actually played five five and attacked and killed one of these guys. I don't think it really matters because now they just block and it deals two and then it's a two two. I don't think that's better. Um, do I think there's enough for a Simic Ascendancy deck? The problem is that like if you're proliferating and putting all these counters on your creatures, if you're able to make like twenty counters you probably just have big enough creatures to win the game anyway without an enchantment, which is susceptible to being, like, removed. It's one of those situations where, like, you really want it to work. You want it to be good, but, like, realistically, it just doesn't make that much sense. We have seven mana. One, one shy of doing all the things we want. Yeah, so plus, like, you, you can put 20 counters on it, and then you have to still get back to your turn. So then you could be like, it, it, it should be like, uh, put a counter on it. If there, it should be like at, at any point if there are 20 counters on it, but I think that's hard to do because of uh, state based effects. Let's see what we hit there. Oh, God, God, Eternal Ronus and a Crunch. Yikes. 
Um, do we just go face here? Like if they attack, we can just block both. I'm going to say no attacks here. Oh yeah, it could be like, uh, whenever one or more 1-1 one -one counters are put on a creature you control, put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. If Simic Ascendancy has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. So it it would trigger at that at that juncture. This I lost my what did we hit there? We hit Heartfire, Tybalt's Rager, and Courage in Crisis. All pretty good. They have two cards in hand. Seems good. <laughs> Was I each creature you control with power four greater can't be blocked by more than one creature? Sure. So these guys can't be blocked by more than one dude. That seems fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You. I have my and now we have like Wrangler, another Manticore, and a Samet. Samet. Oh, we can't gain life. Oh, God, Tybalt, you're so obnoxious. You're so casually obnoxious. I don't want to actually use the last Ashok trigger because we do have... Uh, interesting because we do have many ways to proliferate fascinating I guess we're not going to get the option that's yeah, the Well, we have no cards left. Well, we did this because I wanted to pump this guy before they had a chance to, like, shoot it with something like this. I guess that was probably silly, but... If we draw, like, Kiora's Dam Breaker next turn or whatever that's card, like, then we have at least three things to proliferate onto. I'm gonna no attacks here. Do you think any of the Uncommon Planes Orcs make it in Modern Cube? Um, yeah, there's definitely a couple. I think the Kiora is versatile enough to do so. Um, Ashiok is interesting because it's powerful enough, but I don't think it's it's pretty narrow. Yeah, Narset's pretty decent. Wow, that was that was fucking insane. Do you have one card in hand? Oh, it can't be blocked by more than one guy. Yeah, that's obnoxious. My assistants are painfully slow. Uh, let's. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just go blue, blue. Transformation seems good. We can blank that guy. And then we can also take Contentious, which puts two counters on things. Um, bottom this. We'll draw those two and we'll, we'll keep the other guy on top. Wow, why would you play both? Why would you use both blue for that? That's really something. That's that's something right there. Uh, we might just... We actually kind of want to wait, I think, because next turn we can cast this and proliferate onto it. 
Whereas right now we can proliferate onto two things. But making this a 5-5 five, five to block this guy seems better, so yeah, it's fine. Plus if we draw, we have four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so if we draw a three drop, we can actually play both. Whereas with contentious plan in hand, we can't. Oh, they didn't do anything. Um, all right, so now we have a flyer. Kiora's dam breaker would be sweet. One, two, three. Plus it's just huge. I don't think they have anything in hand, which is nice. Okay, well. Go five. Three. I feel like we're just jumping here. I really want a way to proliferate here. So I can kill this because giving them first strike is pretty bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we can bounce the Skylord and replay it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, because this is sort of the first strike, which is really problematic. Every time I play a land, I'm just like, okay. Wow, they just lose because of that? Jeez. That's insane. That did not... That, that, felt, that felt presumptuous. All right. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm just gonna smell like this. Our deck seems fine. Yeah, we can keep this. One island and we get to play Ashy Boy. Yeah, that's Roncherino. Oh, we did it. Little Croncherino. Yeah, we're probably just blocking this if they attack. Oh my god, every time I do it. I leave you. My peasant. I hit that Ronus, a Nahiri, and a Samet. That's pretty good. Man, they're never gonna play God Eternal Ronus. Also, guys, I don't want to get you too excited, but I got a brand new box of raisins. And it's completely unopened. How's that? How's some, that was some package opening ASMR for you guys? I'm sure they're good.
I want to play this because if they play any four drop, any four powered creature like this, this guy's just going to trade with it. So. I'm off now. We'll send you through a standard deck list later today for you to have a peek at, see if you're interested in taking a first spin. I would love to. Badger, let me know, man. Really appreciate it. Have a great afternoon, night, weekend, what have you. Karanchi boy. Now they're going to play Courage. They're just trying to figure out who to Courage onto. Courage the Cowardly Dog onto. And they're going to proliferate onto three. Oh, hmm, interesting. A bold strategy, Cotton. I mean, if this is a 4-5, I feel like this is as big as any creature to to put this on. If they have Heart Fire, they could kill the Centaur Nurturer, but that's fine. Did I say have a good weekend? <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? What a weird thing for me to say. Um, yeah, easy block here. Sure. Get crunched on, I guess. The sad moment where you proliferate onto none. Have a great weekend, buddy. <laughs> what a weird thing to say, man. Oh, oh, that's gas. Let's not play anything. Oh, is it instant too? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I don't like five six because we can double block and we only get to kill one. So let's just end the turn. We have to commence the end game up. We're in the end game now. Pass. Pass. This is where they can see they're like, I'm out. Four four any draw two? I'm out. Who are we putting a counter on, boys? This guy or this guy? Probably this guy. One, two, three, four, five. We play to land. Got a big fat dam breaker coming at you. It's only weird because it's Monday. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Baby, every day's the weekend. You don't know. Oh, it's a little one one devil. Let me get that. Let me get that that three three that makes a two two flyer, so I can have a seven seven flyer. Oh, Vivian's pretty good. Vivian can actually find that for us. She goes to one as well, so it's not like we die instantly to the devil boy. Are much more reliable than humans. <laughs> oh, we did it, boys. <laughs> oh, we're so good at this game. Float it on over. 
Oh, they're gonna kill our Skylord. Well, that's sad. Still 7-7, seven, seven, still gets to kill two things. So I might get a script for his back pains. Uh, kind of, maybe a little bit. Well, that's sad. Are you gonna shoot Aunt Viv? I've seen squirrels hit harder. Man, I got so excited. The more, the messier. All right, they have no cards in hand. Well, that doesn't do anything. I guess it does something if we have our guy in play. So four, five, six. So we can just give it to this guy. The mysteries of life are endless. Yep, you got it. So you can shoot one more Viv, but it's still out of range. Okay, so you've got claws. I guess we can play this. I think it's fine to play this here. Because the Bio Essence Hydra is going to get the same perks whether we play it now or whether we play it post. It's going to get plus five, plus five. Move it on over. Starting over is the only way. No attacks. Sure. If this guy comes in, we're just going to trade with something stupid. Oh, what does that do? Blinks this guy. And then we put a counter on this guy and this guy and both of these. And we gotta go get a get a get a guy out of it. Get a 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 guy out of it. Wait, you think nature is kind? I just don't think we need to do it now, though. We can just wait to ultimate one of these planeswalkers, right? Jokes on you. It doesn't have an ultimate, you stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, it's it's on me. Okay. Well. Oh, that's grand. That's just grand. Uh, I don't want any of these. Three lands onto the bottom and Crunch Wrangler onto the bottom. I guess we don't have to play anything right now, right? Tear it down. Tear it all down. This guy's this guy's really getting in our way here. I'd like to get this back somehow. Oh, I guess we can't cancel it once we're locked in, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Strike now! Strike hard! Oh shit! <laughs> um. This is nice because Crawl Stinger can't actually kill it. Ooh. 
one down. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Puppies? Oh, you can make X more mana than you have, and that's how you cancel things? That's really, in that's unintuitive. Um. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of dudes. The old fifteen fifteen. So if we just make this seventeen seventeen, it's just for the fallen. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Should have alpha'd. I don't know. How does it work if you minus Sahili on your Hydra? Uh, it would make a 4 4. And I imagine this would get. Like, if you play, it would just be a Hydra. So it would be a 4 4 Hydra. And then when it turned back into a 1 1, it would, it would keep the counters. So. Uh, okay, so block. So everything just seems fine here. This guy's gonna die. But their board is pretty much decimated here, so. Oh, and so is their face. <laughs> that was a, a noble attempt. I, I applaud them for that. Did you decimate their face? I fully made it their face. This hand seems very keepable. Any blue source and we're really good to go. And then this guy in Vivian Reed. Woof. Oh look, I found the blue source we were looking for. Pouncing links. So we could go Stinger or Vivian Reed here, and then we can just play both of these next turn. I think it's Stinger. You will not dissuade me from battle. So Good one. Idea. That was a wimpy sounding lynx. Wow, I feel like you're the link ex lynx expert. A lynx spurt, if you will.
Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Let's find a land because that's what we need here. Um, I actually feel like we can keep all of this. Draw these. This actually seems fine. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. Let's try this. Oh, it's mill two, so he just gets rid of our guy. I guess that's fine. I mean, you don't really need it, but. We do have to get rid of this, Jace. <sighs> Pretty sure this is the play, because next turn we can play Vivian and threaten threaten Jace pretty significantly. If they block here and then they go double block on one, they're taking four, three, four. Yeah, I don't think it's worth getting rid of this guy for that. Sure, get cr get crunching. Okay. Now we've got a fight on our hands. Hey, wipe the board. Sweet planeswalkers. Was that supposed to hurt? Four, five, six, seven mana. We can go this guy and Vivian. We can't proliferate and do anything else. Well, that sucks. I don't actually care to play this game anymore. It's kind of like they're just like they have an active Jace, just fucking miserable. Yep. I mean, I kind of just want Crush Descent just because they have. <laughs> Mono planeswalkers dot deck.
We'll take that out instead, actually. seems pretty good. I guess we're hoping they don't play anything on turn two. Time to roast the chicken and make a kale salad. Dimitri, have a good afternoon, buddy. Or night. Night, afternoon, weekend. Have a good weekend. Yep, that's a lot of things. Stop. Play this, we get a blocker. Doesn't seem great. We'll just play this guy. Oh, can't do that. I lied to you. Oh my god, every time I'm gonna do it. Which library do you want to exile? And I click on the library. Wow, time wipe. Seems good. Seems good. Also blink ash, you know. We're just not like we're not just we're just not doing very well in this matchup, unfortunately. Behold, we live to fight another day. I aspire for I mean, we lose the Healy, but what can we do? I'm just gonna play this guy. Yeah, and we lose Ashok again as well. I don't know, I mean, we just don't have any action here. Like, we have nothing to do. And they have four cards in their hand. <laughs> I'll return where you slumber.
Yeah, I don't actually... The Thunder Drake is fine. It's a 2-3 for 4, right? So it's not like... It's worse than like an Azure Drake that's like a 3-4. A Snapping Drake or something that's a 3-2 for 4. Um, But it does relevantly get pumped. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. Interesting. In Sweden now, still haven't seen Endgame, but still to catch for a bit. <laughs> Man, are you in Sweden forever now? Ooh. Oh, that's weird. If they attack with everything, we can just go block one of these guys. I don't know if that's great. Although Damburger next turn, or next turn we get to proliferate. Nice, nice. Enjoy Europe, buddy. I'm glad that even though you're traveling through Europe right now, you still took time to uh, to hang out. Swedes are good people. You. This seems strong because they have Spellkeeper weird, so like they can't get back their honor. There's another Thunder Drake. Thunder. 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 We're probably going to just put a counter on Merfolk Sky Skydiver itself because uh, then Dam Breaker is going to trigger the Wrangler so we can proliferate onto both. Have you fought a polar bear yet? I have not, nor would I want to, because I think they're having a hard enough time due to uh, the miserable na the miserable nature of climate change. Like, humans are fucking repulsive. That card's good. Finally learned how to say Thunder Drake. Did I do it? Did I do the uh did I do the Imagine Dragons Thunder Drake? <laughs> that was totally involuntary, man. I feel like I'm just I feel like I'm slightly on autopilot today. On no attacks. What do we got here? Uh, a skulker and a spellgorger. We're hitting a lot of lands here.
slightly autopilot. You wish someone a good weekend. That's true. That's true. That did happen. Well. Let's make sure to stack these correctly unless they want to counter it. Sure, why the hell not? Why the hell not? It's okay, we got two. Yep, that's a, that's a good one. Casual draw five. attack with this and then double block, but they have five cards in hand, so. Krasuski, man, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Citation for Frank the War, excessive crunch. Wow. Is that good or bad? I don't even know, actually. This is all fine. We have proliferate on deck. Get out of here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have nine mana, so we can't proliferate twice. That's unfortunate. Let's stop this guy from doing, doing the deed, doing the dirty on us. Kapow. Four, five, six, seven. We're going to play this because if we hit another land, we want to be able to double proliferate. So we can also proliferate, activate this if we don't hit a land. So lots of things. What are they going to buy? Heartfire? Oh, that's a little scary. I have nine mana. 
It's an easy sacrifice for the Skulker. Block here, block here. Alright, well, we know we know one of their cards. And we're at ten, so they can deal us four out of nowhere and then five out of nowhere. They have like Um Alright, that was interesting. They took Now they have nothing to sacrifice to heart fire. Alright, double back to back Jace matches. That's nice. That would have been decent. Are you just... Are you dead? Can you sack up Lane's Auger? They can sack this to kill something. I guess probably kill the Dam Breaker, because that keeps them alive. No, it doesn't. Seven and two. <sighs> it's like a beacon in the top left of the statue. This guy? My students are loyal geniuses. Nine mana, huh? So if you block here, you still die. Seems good. Man, there's so many matches where I'm like, Dovin's Veto would be good here, but I don't want to splash, like, white for it. The beacon never fails to- yeah, that's what did it. That, that beacon really put us over the edge. Two damn burgers is a bit much. Yeah, that's definitely keepable. I'll bottom you because we want to hit a blue source. Well. Okie dokie. <laughs> yep, still nothing. Sounds good. Well, at least we can Epiphany here, unless they counter it and make a 2-2. Well, they did not. Wow, I keep all of these cards. Um, do we need 2 green? I don't think so. No, especially not with New Horizon. Yeah, we're just keeping both of these. 
Besides, they're just going to go Jace next turn and give us a sad. Here he comes. Oh, it's just Kazmina. It is only Kazmina. My students are loyal and brilliant. I guess we do want to hit one more land so we can commence the end game, make a 30-30. One, two, three, four, it'd be an eight, eight. It's pretty good. Okay. But okay. One, two, three, four, we have seven cards. So if we draw a land, we can play the land and then play commence the end game. Focus on what matters. Focus on what matters. We did not draw that. Oh, you're gonna counter it, because you're good at this game. Wow, you're so good at this game. Congratulations on being very good at this game. But excuse me. What are the odds they have a counter spell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blockity block block. All right. Oh, the double Casmina. It's us or them. Is it us or them? The right side. So we're gonna have six mana. We don't actually have another land, which is sad. We can go Sahili into like New Horizon. Or Sahili into Transmutation, but that is not super. Ah, uh, Transmutation on that guy is actually pretty decent. Alright. Sahili into 1, 2, 3. We can also go Sahili into New Horizons. Oh, they don't let us do that now because they tapped really, really idiotically. That's really sad. I mean, they're definitely chumping with a stupid wizard, so... Oh wow, they're just gonna let her die. It is I who has learned a lesson. Huh. I feel like we're in good shape here. But what do I know?
Oh, I'll go into the face, huh? Well, we'll block here and we'll block here. We'll take two, three, and then I'm sure you're going to deal us four. And if you have two hearth fires, we're just dead anyway because we'd take eight. And we're at least taking two, so... Hardfire is really the, uh, the card we're afraid of here. They could also play like Sarkon's five damage and then Hardfire, which is pretty sad as well. Yep, that's what we're worried about. I sure do know everything. I sure do know everything. slow but <laughs> I feel like War Limited is really going to wear down that lucky sound bite. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. Well, sometimes when you're when you're the opponent and your your opponent's tapped out, uh, it takes you a while before you realize you want to deal them nine damage to the face. It's complicated. Magic's complicated. Sometimes your opponent's at seven or three or seven. I think we were at seven, and then uh, it's hard because you wanna you wanna kill them, but you wanna make sure that you really consider all your options. Uh, we have five mana. I want to bottom all of these. We'll keep this guy and something else. Magic's hard, man. Uh, we can't play anything. I guess, oh, we can't, uh, because we can play this for zero, so they're not letting us. getting there. Oh, it's a little Kazmina. This guy's got trample. Can we draw? Every day is a new Vivian Reed would be gas. Give this guy vigilance. Sahili wouldn't be bad either. We can see Hilly and then Play contentious plan, make a guy. Well, that's interesting. Transmutation. Dream of transmutation. I mean, you can either keep Kazmina at one, or she dies. 
neither is that great. Seek out others then. Six mana, huh? Might just be Skylord here. Man, Kazmina was four mana loot, make a two two. So it was a four mana two two that says when the center's a battlefield, you can loot. I don't know if that's great. Did not attack. Interesting. Can you help a poor naked man out, Zex? Or if you need a wardrobe pick me up, definitely check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. They're super comfortable. Um, yep, this is hard. They have three mana up. I mean, I feel like they have no, uh, whatever the card is called. Learn from this. I can't think of what it's called. Whatever, whatever counters this, it's, it's fine. There you go. No escape. Congratulations. Never didn't have the counter. Never did it have a camera. Oh, I'll make a little wood one. Well, they discard land, probably. Land. So we have seven mana. This guy's five, six, seven, six, seven. All right, well. Crunchy boy or planeswalker would be nice. Crawl Stinger. Eh, you're kind of mediocre. You're kind of mediocre. Let's actually... Do we just want to proliferate here? I think it's fine because we can let us hit a Planeswalker, which is extremely strong. Less fun for the neighbors, but nice to wear something fancy again. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta treat yourself. Heart fire this guy. Sure. Are we getting double block out of this? No. I was like, really? You're gonna throw your erratic visionary away? We got four cards, you have one card?
Oh yeah, I'll trade a rag. like we're ahead. Big fat damn breaker. They never don't have it, do they? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. 6, 12, 18. 3 turn clock versus 4 turn clock. So I'm in a position where, like, if they have heart fire, it's fine. It's whatever. We still have two creatures, three creatures, right? Um, if they play a bigger creature that we would have liked to play this on, we have Crawl Stinger to just deal with it, so... Is that a third Kazmina or a second? Is that the second? Kazmina? No, that's just their second. You know. Kazmina makes a wizard and then she turns her own wizard into a frog. Okie dokie. Where were you previously? Previously. On things. Frogs. Previously on frogs. Nine mana, we can play Saratok. Yeah, let's do that. Is this a trade? Is this a word right in here? We still got the hitter for one, I think. Yeah, we do, because that's how Death Touch works. right side we can kill Jace, right? No, he's at five. Well, we can still threaten. We can th threaten Jace heavily. Cards in our library, seventeen. Ah, well played. Kitty cat's like, Mow. How you played, and what did we lose there? Teferi's time, time twister. Teferi's time twist. Yeah, sure. Uh, 
I mean, we know their last card's Heartfire, I'm sure. So they're just going to kill our Rescuer Sphinx. And they're just trying to figure out if they're going to sack this guy or this guy. Probably this guy. Seems surprisingly long. All right. I think they feel like they just can't, uh, solution what is it how do I where does it what is the card how do I know if I want to oh it's a Vivian oh yeah for sure take action real thing <laughs> oh for sure next time we get to go see Hilly into Vivian oh that's nice That's pretty good. Yeah, they play one more spell, this guy gets bigger too. Yeah, that's... This is a hello comeback. I felt like we were in real good shape. Oh, them not doing anything else is pretty nice. We have 10 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Yeah, that's better. There is wonder in a blade of grass. All right, that was a solid turn. That was an okay turn. <clears throat> Don't care about that. Ooh, New Horizons is interesting. If I click on any land, will it put it on an untapped land? Let's find out. It will. Okay, that's great. That's really nice. Um, genius is as genius does. Have you ever lost a home? Oh, we targeted the wrong one? Come on, dude. That's stupid. Which, well, why does it have a, it's a, it should be a 4-3 with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, should it not? That doesn't seem accurate. It should be a 4, it should be a 5-4. Oh no, because this card naturally is uh, a 3-2, right? Okay, that makes sense. Well, of course we picked the wrong one. That's sad. Pass. Past end of combat. Uh, yeah, take action. Oof. Oh, man, we wanted to draw that one. Oh, I guess they're just dead. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Or if, like, you're going to target something with that has summoning sickness, maybe that... Eh, I guess that's not going to come up a lot, though. Hey, look, speak of the devil. Wow, that is... That is apt. Oh my god, kitty cat. 
I gotta feed him after this. Bow. What's the sound little man makes? Bow. Oh, all right, well. Hand's pretty unimpressive thus far. If we can hit a three drop, I'll be okay with it. How about a crawl forager? Okay, claw triangler's good. I just want something to bounce with this guy. Oh no, I know. I I'm, I'm familiar. I know what I know that this is summoning sickness. I just don't even. It's I don't really even. It's still subtle. I don't really look for it, and I just did. I wasn't looking for it at the time. Hmm. Fascinating. Because like 99% of the time it's not relevant. You know, it's like you kind of know. You're like, I know what I know what summoning sickness is. I would like to attack your Gurichi. Can I attack your Gurichi? Are you gonna block? What are you gonna do? You gonna block? Okay. I killed your guy. Our board's looking juicy. Oh, that's great. I love that you got rid of my guy. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Preach. Alternatively, we play Wrangler and then kept up Teferi's time twist. We did not do that, though. Do we just want to attack and have them double block and then have their Sihili go up to 7? I don't think so. But I do want to commence the end game and make it 5-5. Five, five, so I think we're going to try to do that. Guy dropped a box of MTG cards from their truck in the road. Yikes. How big are we talking? A deck box or a 5,000 card long box? Mm. Now we're talking. And not just a small box, a huge box. There we go. That's the question that we're asking. Yep. Yep. Seemed like a good turn, at least. Um, okay, we're just going to attack. Actually, if you have any spell, like a thing that it just... Oh. They didn't Time have anything. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. I mean, this is lethal. Well, we have seven mana. We can do this for five. And 
keep up time twist in case they in case they have like a time wipe or something. And we can just exile this guy, still keep a 5-6. If they had a time wipe, I'm pretty sure they would have used it. I don't think they're gonna like leave uh four, five, six, seven, twelve power on board and be greedy about it. That seems terrible. <laughs> Is this real life? Oh, dear God. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable, dude. Well, we have lethal, so... Cool. God. Time wipe, guys. There's no way they have a time wipe. They wouldn't have played. They wouldn't... They would have played it. Uh, time wipe. I see. I almost want Crush Descent because of that. I do. I do want Crush Descent because of that. Take out a Transmutation. That was unbelievable, man. You always call and say you should try saying our opponent will draw land and see how it works. Well, that's not the worst thing possible, right? So it's, it's really Murphy's Law. Whereas, like, anything that can happen will. That's really what we're following. So Murphy's Law doesn't change just because I say a different card. I'm just being sure to name the worst card possible, and they get to have that card. Look how big you are. You're getting so big, Merfolk Skydiver. Oh, it's a little cloud. Look at that little cloud. One, two, three, four, five. Watch, we play this. Next turn, they bounce this guy and uh, wipe the board. I mean, if we can survive next turn, we just get to do either one of these. They need a second white, so... There it is. So long, 8 power. We had a good run. What the fuck? This is the third Jace we've played against in this draft. Four rounds, three Jaces, I'm pretty sure. That's unreal, dude. Well, we just milled two lands, so that's pretty cool. We also get to attack Jace, and, like, you get to jump here? That seems bad. Wow, alright, so Jace just dies? You just literally played Jace to draw a card? I won't have to remember this. Interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. And mill too, Frank. Very important. <laughs> Let's not forget.
Don't underestimate the mill, too. Oh, this can't be countered. I keep forgetting that. Because usually it's never relevant. So I don't think we're playing. I could just blink all three. Or like, I definitely still don't think we want to walk into time warp. Time wipe, time warp. Time warp. Oh my God, stop it, little man. Mao. Is this going to nine, huh? Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, we didn't need that, so. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Sure, play to land this turn. Uh, I don't think we want the Crunch Wrangler. Maybe we do. Four, five, six, seven. Now we can go eight, so we can recover with a Crunch Wrangler and a and a Dam Breaker next turn. We're just really trying to play around the uh, the time wipe. This also uh, blanks this so that they don't have five power to kill the Sahili. Yeah, if you do that, you might be dead. Um, so what can we do here? We can make a copy of something. We can make a copy of this fat boy. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So any two of these are lethal. I think we won. And we just casually have a 4C in hand that we didn't have to use. Well, I think we're like 4-1 right now. Yep, seems good. All right, so we just played five matches. I think three of them had Jace's. Hell, maybe it was four. What do I know? I want a Cron Wrangler so I can play one of these cards on turn three and oh, we didn't get it. Vivian going up to five seems safe. Or Sahili just sitting there seems good too. Um Huh. Would you like 
to see what's left of Scott. You can still walk away. Wow, three creatures, huh? Um I feel like Conjuring's probably gonna be the best of those. Nothing. Interesting. We could just go Sahili plus. What does that do? I don't know. We could also go Rescuer Sphinx, just bounce. Uh, bounce Vivian Reed. I kind of like that. Seems all right. Also, if you guys uh, haven't done so, definitely check out manatraders.com if you're looking for any sort of magic online subscription service or if you're looking for uh, a way to rent physical paper cards. Uh, they have multiple subscription services that you can utilize and you get 20% off with for the first three months uh, with promo code with the promo code in the link in the description. So they have three, man. Like, does it even matter? I feel like we're, we're just so far ahead right now. I think we're just going to play Vivian here. Or, uh, Sahili here. Next turn we can play Vivian and New Horizons. Which I think is fine. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Alright, we saw three forests, so I can't really sideboard here. Mao. Thank you. Oh, relax and Sam, welcome back, buddy. Can't watch this trick down the app my TV uses, but wanted you to know that I that I heart you. I heart you too, buddy. I heart you too. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. Crawl Stinger and Vivian. No blue, but you still got playables. Bear. What color do I think they're missing lands for? White, obviously. This is MTG Arena. That's interesting. I'm interested. I really kind of want to just transmutate this because I think this card is very, very scary. Like if they play any planeswalker next turn, they get to put prol proliferate onto it. If you like, if you like play any of the three mana planeswalkers or four mana planeswalkers that start at like five, and they have neg two abilities, you just get an extra activation every single turn with this, and that's pretty scary. Did they miss the land up again? They were on the play. Interesting. This is a fine trade. And next turn we can play Vivian Reed and Crawl Stinger. Or we can just play Kiora's Day. Well, biscuits. Sure. That guy's so loyal. I like 
people, not so much. For Oof. the fallen. That's a whiff. I mean, ideally they just put the two at this guy and then we get to block one of them. And then we take three, which is pretty sweet. That's a yikes for me, dog. Surrender now, and I'll spare you. Still worth a walk. I always survive. You'll see. Ashiok. Keep this island in hand in case we draw commence the end game. In which case, then we can just make a bigger guy. Oh, now we're seeing all the cards. People call me a death dealer, but I rarely offer discounts. I have lost too much to allow you victory. Sure. Dang it, I do it every time. Gideon's Triumph Force creature. Alright. No attacks. And the turn. Yep, that's a big dude. That's a big fat idiot. Oh, I'm running out of room to store my trophies. Press the attack. Pretty sure we're just way behind here. Oh, all the creatures have haste. All the same creatures. All the same creatures. We're at six, huh? Good. I'm good at killing. I cannot imagine a card in our deck. That's not terrible, I guess. What was that? Was that the two three raptor that pulled up right? Looks like it. Yeah. Pretty sure we're dead here. That thing has haste, so we can block two things. We take one, two, three, four, yeah, we're dead. What's up, Looter Elf? We are drafting. Doing a little draft right now. Uh, we're gonna cut something that's not impressive or something. That's Teferi's time, which seems worse than Crush Descent. Uh, we can also put... But totally lost, maybe instead. But I think Crush Descent's fine. There's a lot of situations where we can keep our mana up. If we have Vivian Reed and creatures, if we have uh, 
commence the end game. And another one bites the dust. Any green in this hand is fine. Or any blue, rather. If we draw blue, blue, then we got a third turn. That's shock, but the odds are better. Admittedly low. And we get a six drop. I think we're just gonna. I think we're living the 4 2 dream here today, guys. 4 2 dream. Two dream it is. Here comes Gideon Blackblade. Yep, that's not broken. At least you made it. I'm just gonna play another Charm Stray. Proliferate onto both. Oh, Jesus. Casual 5-5 five, five, and a 4-4. Four, four. This is why this card is broken. And now it's a 6-6 six, six stray. That's... Oh, you're a forest. Fantastic. Now we got him. Now we got him right where we want him, guys. There's nothing we can do here. We can't beat a 7-7. So I'm just going to scoop here and end my life. So uh, I can save my precious time of getting my ass kicked in. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, uh, meundies.com slash franklapore. You can find my articles on coolstuffinc.com. And uh, you can also check me out at manatraders.com. You get 15, 20% off for your first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below in the description. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great night, afternoon, weekend.